Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to monetize your WordPress website with ads from Google AdSense. Now, there are a few steps to this process. The first step being creating a Google AdSense account. Now, I won't go through this process in the tutorial. It's pretty straightforward, just signing up for an AdSense account. But once you have an AdSense account, then we basically want to associate your domain name, your website with that AdSense account. And part of that is putting a little piece of code on your WordPress website. Now, that's an option, but the easier option is to install a plugin called SiteKit. It's the official plugin from Google that does that for you. So I will walk you through those steps. Uh, but the first thing you need to know is that you need your AdSense account. Once you have your AdSense account approved, you have to tell AdSense about your WordPress website. And because this is specific to WordPress, there is a plugin made by Google. It's an official Google plugin that we can install. That's gonna do a lot of the work for you and that's called SiteKit. So that's what we're gonna do in this part of the tutorial. Uh, the other option is to go through the AdSense dashboard and place a piece of code manually on your website, kind of like this, but that is a little bit more complicated for uh, a lot of new people. So we're gonna go through the steps for SiteKit in this tutorial. So uh, we're gonna add um, uh, AdSense to Tony Teaches Tech. So I'm in my dashboard here. All I have to do is go to plugins, add new. And what we're gonna do is search for a plugin called SiteKit. Okay, and that is going to be this site kit official plugin by Google. So we'll install that and activate that. Okay, so once that's activated, you may or may not get a message like this saying uh, your site might not be ready for site kit. What I found in the past is this is because of a caching plugin. I have the uh, W3 total cache plugin. So I'm just gonna deactivate that and see if that message goes away. Um, and it does. So let's go to the site kit plugin here. And SiteKit actually does a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so first thing before we go through that, let's sign in with Google. So go ahead and sign in with your Google account that you have signed up for SiteKit. So sign in with Google. Okay, and once you're signed in, you can go ahead and click continue to get through the prompts on the screen. Okay, so once you sign in with your Google account, you'll be redirected back to the SiteKit plugin on your website. And now, uh, like I said, there's a lot of different functionality for SiteKit, including Search Console, which is organic search results, analytics, which you uh, have a video about that for WordPress, and PageSpeed Insights uh, as well. Um, so you can check those out in other videos, but uh, what we're focused on is AdSense. So what we wanna do is connect AdSense to this website. So go ahead and click on that link here. Again, you'll be asked to sign in with your Google account, so go ahead and do that. And then after signing in, you'll get a page similar to this if you already have your AdSense account set up. And it says, looks like you already are using AdSense, and it's this little toggle here is uh, going to simplify the process of putting the AdSense code on your website, so make sure you keep this checked. It's gonna put a little piece of code um, once your site gets approved. So let's click on continue for that. So if this is the first time you're associating this website with AdSense, then you wanna click on this button here that says add site to AdSense. So let's do that next. And that will redirect us to google.com slash AdSense where we can put the URL of our website here. So again, for me, it's tonyteaches.tech. We'll save and continue. And then although your AdSense account has been approved, you still need your individual website to be approved as well. So we'll request a review for that. This page here says that it could take a few days, but in some cases more than two weeks or up to two weeks, I guess, if they're busy. Um, so that is part of the review process for the website itself. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, no ads will show up, but we can start to set up ads by clicking on this button here. So let's set up the ads. And that's gonna take us to um, specifically tonyteaches.tech. And we can, on the right-hand side, kind of configure how things are gonna look. So. Um, I recommend to do auto ads, okay? Auto ads pretty much looks at your page source and figures out the best place to put ads on your website. So uh, it's kind of giving you an example of what that will look like. So we have an anchor ad up top here, um, an in-page ad right here, and a couple in-page ads throughout the page. And that's about it for this page. So I, I actually don't like ads on my home page or my contact page or my about page. I only want the ads pretty much on my blog posts and other pages. So the first thing I'd like to do is come in here to page exclusions and click on manage. And I'm gonna add uh, the base URL, which is gonna be this page only. That's my home page. And I'm also gonna add 
another exclusion for the about page. So we'll add that as well. And uh, one more exclusion for the contact page. Now, hopefully, if this uh, works well, um, we should not see those ads show up on the home page, and that's correct. Um, and we can try to go to the about page as well. Let's see if we can navigate up here about. And uh, one that, you know, it's finding the best places for ads on your site, but because of the exclusion, it shouldn't show anything for this web page. It should only show them on blog posts and pages. So yeah, here is the about page. And like we would expect, there is no ads serving on this page. But if we go to, let's go back to the home page. And here we'll click on one of my blog posts to see kind of what the ads look like on this page. So we have an in-page ad right below the title. And before the content starts, we have the anchor uh, ad at the top and an ad at the bottom and one right before the comments. And these are my own ads that I have. So. Um, Basically, the ad formats that you have, you can toggle on or off. So you can keep in-page ads on. Uh, I recommend that. I also recommend to do match content. Pretty much all of these options uh, will optimize your ad placement. Um, anchor ads, that's the one at the top. Uh, they will also show on widescreen. And you have these other ad options down here as well. So uh, vignette, that's the that's the pop-up full screen ads. If you don't like them, if it if it ruins your user experience, then you can turn those off too. I'll experiment around with this and see what happens. But basically, um, ad load that is the amount of ads, the frequency of ads that you'll see on a single page. So as you move the slider down, you'll see less ads, less content. Right? We only have pretty much two ads at this point. But if you maximize that you'll see a whole uh, a whole lot more ads. And maybe this is a bad example because it's such a small blog post, but you would see more frequent ads throughout your page. Now, the trade-off here with maximum ads is user experience, but the benefit is you get a lot more ad revenue because the number of impressions of ads that you see, that a user sees on your website, correlates to how much uh, AdSense revenue you'll make. And then if you minimize that, if you want a good user experience with minimal ads, uh, the, the downside to that is the fact that you won't get as much revenue from ads. So um, what you can do is keep that somewhere in the middle or slightly to the right or slightly to the left, depending on how many ads you want to see. So when you're satisfied with that, um, you can apply that to your website. And again, this is, uh, this is still being in review. So I'm not going to, if I go to my website right now, Tony teaches tech, we shouldn't see any ads just yet. Uh, it has to go through that review process, but when that happens, um, I should be good to go and start earning that ad revenue for my website. In the meantime, you can check the status of your ads by going to your Google AdSense account and clicking on sites, and you'll see that it's still for this website, tonyteaches.tech getting ready. So again, up to two weeks for that to happen. Okay guys, so about 12 hours later, I got this email here that says, good news, your site Tony Teaches Tech is now ready to show AdSense ads. So uh, let's click on this go to my ads button and you'll notice in here that there is actually one more step that we have to take care of. Uh, at the top, it says earnings at risk. You need to fix some ads.txt file issues to avoid severe impact to your revenue. Okay, and that is relevant for tonyteaches.tech. So it says create an ads.txt file for site for one site, uh, specifically tonyteaches.tech. So um, basically what you have to do is download this file onto your local computer and then upload it to the root public HTML directory of your website. So that's going to be different for everybody depending on what hosting platform you use. Uh, but for me, I'm using WPX and hopefully by showing you what I do, you can do something similar with your website. So I got this ads.txt file on my computer. Let's go to my uh, file manager for my website. Here is tonyteaches.tech. And then here's my public HTML directory. And it might not be the same path to get there for you, but you'll see a whole bunch of files, including your WP admin folder, your WP content, WP includes, and more importantly, your index.php file. So this is, this is the root of my tonyteaches.tech file. Now, all I have to do is upload this to this directory, put that in there, and it says successfully uploaded ads.tech. So now, when I go to tonyteaches.tech slash ads, 
text. I will see that file that I just uploaded and that is the content uh, as you can see here. We're looking at the same exact thing. So now that we have uploaded that, we can go back to here and uh, it says it may take a few days for changes to update if you're using another ad network. Remember to add the network to the ads.txt file. So uh, we are not using another ad network. Um, I don't know how long this will take to fix, but after I figure it out, I'll let you know. So about 12 hours later, I came back into my AdSense account and that ads.txt message went away. And as you can see here, tonyteaches.tech is ready, meaning that it should be showing ads. So let's go over there and check it out, tonyteaches.tech. Like I said, we do not want to show ads on our homepage. That's because we excluded this page explicitly. But let's go to one of these blog posts like this one right here. And there we go. We see an ad load right here. Now it's going to depend on what browser you're using and what type of ad you'll be seeing. So for example, if I go to uh, a guest window and go to tonyteaches.tech, we might see a different ad for that same exact page. And that's because we have auto ads on. So for example, this one, this doesn't even show that banner ad at the top, but it does show this anchor ad at the top of the, the very top of the page. So uh, yeah, if you wanna play around with the placement of ads, like we said, we are using auto ads uh, by default, but you can always manually place them on your page by toggling this off and coming through here and putting them wherever you want on your site. That's about it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Do my best to help you out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.